Hello, Ep hello, cool fam or Epic Epic Game fans. Uh, today we're doing something different. Uh, I got this a while ago. If you don't know, uh, I want to make this. You saw the title of the video. You know what this is. This is kind of like my first review because I was like, I want to. I have these. These two specifically, I'm gonna open like, in different videos. It's not gonna be the same videos. But I got this figure here. If anybody knows, I like action figures and stuff. They do a lot of cool superhero ones. Uh, the DC Multiverse ones. I'll give you a quick glance. I will be opening this in a separate video, but. These new ones by Todd McFarlane are freaking amazing. They're some of the best DC toys. Like, for well, like 20 bucks, you're getting quality here. And that's saying, great. This one's also great because it's probably falling toys. Well, Bloodshot. We're going to open this here. But if you don't know, I like figures and I do get them. But the problem is a lot of them I have do not have, uh, they're not really figures. These ones come with stands. That's why I'm opening them because that makes them easy to display. A lot of them I have do not have stands. So it's, they're not really, they cannot go a little easier. I don't have really a place to put them. Uh, a face for a bunch of these. So my plan is, I like I'm gonna know, like my plan was to open them on the channel at some point. We are gonna open them at some point, but I, the only ones I'm opening now are ones for stands. Um, so and these are gonna be like little reviews. So I open it up, look at the toy, we kind of like I guess review it. I've not really done that, so I'm not gonna be like a super in depth toy review, but kind of like what I thought of it. But I I'm buying these because you can already kind of tell what they look like and stuff, so you kind of know. Like yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a cool toy. So let's we're opening up the bloodshot today. Um, so we're gonna. Yeah, you know, but I'm not gonna slam it down the table because you have a little more. But not just Pokemon cards, so we're just gonna. And work. okay, so we got the Bloodshot here by McCollin Toys. Let's take a look in the box. Bloodshot McCollin Toys. This is based on the movie Bloodshot, where it's kind of cool that we get a Bloodshot figure just in general. Because I don't. I do not know if Valiant has any figures or toys. Maybe some stuff like that. I don't, think, I don't even know if they have anything in the so this might be the first. This is the first probably like big quality action figure and it's based on the movie character. It sucks because I would, I would love some more just regular like uh, Valiant character toys. But this is on the back just of Sam with two guns acting all cool. And we have these two, uh, all the stuff down here. Obviously we have all the stuff on the bottom, I don't know how you can see it. But like all this stuff on the bottom here where you can pause it, read it, whatever. I don't know if I have that upside down, but whatever. Um, don't know, because not done, like I said, I'm not done, this is the on size. But let's open this bad boy, take it all out, see what we get. Uh, I, I mean, we know what we get, but just take a fair look at the toy. Now, since I've not opened one of these, I'm not 100% sure how we should... It looks like there's tape on the top, so let's open the top up, and yeah, this can just come out. I'm excited, I've not really opened something like this before on the channel, but this is going to be opening class review, and everybody knows I like the Bloodshot movie. I'm also a big fan of Valiant, so just getting toys and stuff like that are great. So we got that out, and we have to pull this out. So first we'll get the stand out, because that's where we're going to put the character on. And it's like, it seems to be a task or something on this. Yeah, it's really a test. There we go. So let's take this out. Uh, it seems like he only has... So first we'll take a look at the stand. It's just, uh, we have a little stand here. Uh, one foot seems to go in the peg, and then the other one just stands there. What, since it's on a plastic thing. The one's in, the other one stands, so it just stands. It's just bloodshot. I like it how they actually say like something on it. I believe the Joker one does not, but it's fine. But it's like I like it if they say something it's just a little thing in the bottom. It's just it's just a stand. It's not just a dog barking, but yeah. So now let's take the figure out and all this stuff. We have all this stuff to take out. So let's see how the, if this all just comes out. We're just gonna take it all out first. Quick, we'll take out all the little thing and get these out. And I don't know since like I said he has a lot of stuff here. I don't know if he can have all these at once. If he can, cool. If he can't, no. Now you gotta take the figure out, or it's gonna be... Uh, it does have some... Is that tape? Uh, another Cheeto, like, in the back of it somehow. Oh, the group is, like, the back. Okay. I've not, like I said, I've not opened one of these figures before, and I don't want to break it or anything, so it's like... Yeah. And his feet are kind of going to the back here, so we just gotta... Wiggle them on out. Wiggle them on out. Wiggle them on out. Get that little leg out. Come on. I don't want to break this one. Oh, don't break him. Don't break him. That's not what you want to do. There we go. So let's look at all his stuff first before we get to the actual figure. We have this with some type of like sword or something. Not bad. Like the quality on this stuff is great. I guess just a sword that's not much easier to but it's like obviously I don't know. He used a sword or something. I'm assuming all this stuff he used in the movie. Obviously I can't remember every single like weapon he used, but he used guns, probably a sword at some point. But yeah, this is a nice little detail on the sword and looks nice, can't really say much about it because like it's it doesn't have too much detail to it. But it's, it's nice, like it's nice. And Tom McClellan toys do make quality toys, so it's great. And then we have these two, uh, two little like uh, guns. Two little uh, guns, and they look the same on kind of both sides. I can flip them around, but 
they look the same. They look nice. They look like little guns. I mean, it's not much to them, but it's like the guns. You can't say much. I mean, the most. I think the most details on the figure, but these are nice little guns he can have. And he does have side pockets here. I looks like the gun can go in them, but that'd be interesting. So maybe we can have him hold everything, but it's also like how do you want to set up this gun? The one with the most detail because it has all the uh, you see detail on it. Looks nice. Like I said, it's just a gun. This it looks. This handle looks almost weird. It looks almost like a screws in, but it's not. It's just a cool. It's actually a cool design gun. I'm like cool. If any of these weapons do not I put on the character when I display them or whatever. They are going to be just in a bag or have a place for all the extra pieces. Because also the Jack Nathan one comes with the Joker one over here. Don't forget that because I But we gotta look at the boy. The main thing, and I gotta be careful because I'm uh, super, uh, I don't want to break anything. And obviously these are nice toys I don't want to mess up. So we have Bloodshot here. He obviously looks like his character in the movie when I'm trying to remember the actor's name. And I know it. It's bugging me. And it feels like some of his body parts. Yeah, they move. They seem a little stiff on the bottom. His legs seem a little stiff. But... We'll, we'll look at a point of articulation. First, we look at the figure stuff. He does look like the actual actor of where. I forgot the Asian name was, that's not who it is. It's the guy from, uh, what's his name? Um, he's in, uh, I can't remember his name, it's gonna kill me. Somebody in the comments is gonna say it. But from the Fast and Furious movies, that's the actor. And I think he actually does a good job in this figure. I like how they make him look white, like he does in the show. He has the red blood symbol on him with nice black shirt. He has the black uh, gloves, and then he has all this design, a lot of the details in the pants. Like, look, he has all this armor, like, single leg padding, and things to put his guns, and all this stuff. And he has this nice, he's see, like, the bottom part detailed, but the top is not too detailed. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't need to be, because he has a very simple design. So I like, like, yeah, the top is just black shirt with this symbol on it, but that is fine, because that is him, and that kind of works, and the face looks definitely like the character. And here's what the back looks like, just, just some belt stuff, and yeah. More the belts of the stuff. And it's, it's cool. Not a bad figure. But not a bad figure. Now let's look at the uh, points. I guess we should look at the points of articulation because I guess we should do that. As you can see, it has some on the hands. You can go like all the way around and do to do. None. It doesn't have finger articulation, but these usually figures like these don't. But I'm okay with that. They don't need to have that much. As you can see, we have articulation here in the arm, joint here in the arm. Uh, so we got that. And then obviously his arm here has a joint. But it just goes up like that. And does it go all the way around? I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to break anything. So it does that and does the same to your arm. And I can see a chest like has a thing here. You can see it. Um, it makes it so a chest can kind of move around. Like a little up, down. Up, down action was kind of cool. Uh, but you can be careful that. And his head can move all around it looks like, yeah. I'm not moving around too much because it feels like it's going to break. Can we do like a... Yep, yeah, his head can go all the way around. But I think all figures kind of... Unless they have stuff that makes the head can't, should. Now we get to the legs. Um, does his body go like this? Body moves a little like this, but it doesn't, like, it can't, it's like, don't feel like I can go all the way around without breaking it. And I don't wanna, it might be able to, but I'm not gonna do that without trying to break it. And his legs can go like this, and do like this, and go like this. That kind of snapped. See how that clicks? Yeah, there's a click like that, where I'm not a big fan of that, because like, this one doesn't do it, but this one does it when I do it. Yeah, that clicked on, I don't know if it's, what to do with that is. This figure, I think, is fine. It does feel a little stiff. Like, I mean, when it comes to articulation in the legs, uh, we have feet removed pretty decently. I mean, they're not super, just move around a little. Same with the other foot, I think, yeah. And we have the legs. But these are the parts, like these parts right here, the joints here on the legs, are the parts that have the most, like, they feel kind of really hard. Like, you cannot definitely them. It seems like there's another, yeah, there's another joint here, but they just move really, like, tough. They're, like, a little stiffer. Like, they're really a little, like, not as fluent as some other figures, but it's like, you can bend easy. You feel a little stiff, but it's not bad. The figure's not bad. It's cool. I really do like it. So let's set the bloodshot up. So he has, I like how he has pegs on both foot, but it's weird because the way you have it set up, the pegs on this side, so it's not pegs on both foot, but we can put one here and try to display him. Figure out a way to display him and have him to where he's like, looking all cool. And try to figure out a way to display him or something. And... And let's see if the guns can go in the pockets. First we check that. Yes, the guns look like they can. They look like they can. Should go in the pockets, but it doesn't seem like it's going to. Yep, the guns can pretty much go in the pockets, like that. So if you want the guns in the pockets, you can, and they can come out. So that's nice, and then we can have him holding the things to this. I like the one that shows on the box, so I might try to do it. It shows him like here with the guns. I don't know, the two pistols that look kind of nice, I think we're going to do that. Let's get these pistols in his hand and see how these work. 
I think they just go in like this, right? I think, like I said, I'm not done figures and stuff with these. So I'm kind of, maybe they want to sound, but I don't know. I feel like this is just doing, right? We don't want to try to break anything, but there we go. I got one in. Now we get the other one in. This is a nice little figure and I'm excited. I don't know if this is going on a set down here or upstairs, but it's nearly nice. Not bad. Uh, so we got, I think, something like that, I guess. I kind of wasted the other two pegs, but I guess it's fine. Here we go, the figure on a slow stand. He looks nice, honestly. Uh, we do, uh, you get a shot of that, of the figure here. Looks nice. Uh, nice figure, just in general, a nice figure. Todd McQuarrie, if you don't know, it does, for the you can see it. Does nice figures, this is cool, and like I said, it also comes with these swords. And, and there's a really cool, but I do like the two pistols, I'm gonna keep them on him. So yeah, this is really cool. So, uh, with these really toy things, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to rate them because I will say if there's anything I don't like about them. The only thing I would say I don't like is the legs feel a little stiff or, like, I don't know, they feel a little, like, when I try to bend them, they feel a little, like, stiff or more hard. You know, they don't feel like it's easy to bend as some of the other parts. But other than that, it's a great figure. And, yeah, so that's really cool. So thank you guys for watching this video where we take a look at the Bloodshot figure. What you guys think? Have you guys... I got this I want for like 11 bucks and if anybody knows, I'm a big, I like these figures and especially if they're cheap, I love McFarlane toys and I like, um, cause these are nice figures, they're like, technically since they have stands, you could technically, they're kind of like a statue if you're not moving them, they're just kind of like, I like the stands cause it makes it feel like they can also be kind of like technically a, a statue or a figure or something you can just more display piece. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, you guys can always stay up because in the next figure review, what we will be doing, the next one is the Joker cause I do have a Joker. It's the only one I know we're doing right now, uh, so we'll get these two, and if I get any more with these stands, definitely the DC Multiple ones I want to get more because they're cool, and there's some other ones that I hope I don't have stands. But this one I'm really excited to open next, so yeah, stay tuned for that, and you guys can always stay up next to you next video, guys. Cool fam. Have a good fam. Bye.